Dear students, we will talk about boiling of water, boiling point, and how boiling is a bulk phenomena and how it differs from evaporation. So much the same way when you are supplying heat energy solid. In case of liquid also, when we supply heat energy to water, the particles start moving faster, gain kinetic energy, and at certain temperature, they start changing their physical state. Like in case of solid, we have seen that solid change to liquid. Much the same way, liquid change to gaseous state at a particular temperature. And that temperature is called its boiling point. Now let's see the boiling point definition. The temperature at which a liquid, the temperature at which a liquid start boiling at atmospheric pressure is known as its boiling point. So here you, you can see there is an extra word atmospheric pressure which is uh, as a primary in primary classes we have seen that uh, we have learned the temperature at which liquids boil or liquid chain to gases is known as boiling point. But here we can see there is an extra word the temperature at which liquid start boiling at atmospheric pressure is known as is boiling point. Why so? Because the state of matter whether it is solid liquid gas depend on both temperature as well as pressure. So in, you know students that boiling point of water is 100 degrees centigrade but it is 100 degrees centigrade at one atmospheric pressure. If you increase the pressure, the boiling point will change. So dear students, we are going to talk about boiling point. Boiling point is defined as the temperature at which a liquid starts boiling at atmospheric pressure. It's called its boiling point. I have underlined atmospheric pressure. Why? Because with increase in pressure, the boiling point changes. It increases actually. Here, the boiling point of water at atmospheric pressure is 100 degree. We all know that 100 degree is boiling point of water which is equal to 373 Kelvin. Kelvin is SI unit of temperature. But dear students, you know, if we not, if we don't mention atmospheric pressure, so the definition is incomplete because the boiling point of water at atmospheric pressure is 100 degree. If you increase the atmospheric pressure like to atmospheric pressure, the boiling point of water would be 120 degree centigrade approximately. So we have to mention the atmospheric pressure. Now we are going to talk about latent heat of fusion and latent heat of vaporization. Before that, I want to uh, explain that much the same way as solid require heat energy to convert into liquid state without changing temperature, much the same way liquid also require heat energy to convert into vapor state and that heat is known as latent heat of vaporization. Okay, now let's recapitulate regarding the latent heat of fusion. We have come across latent heat of fusion before. The amount of heat energy required to convert 1 kilogram of solid into liquid at atmospheric pressure at its melting point is known as latent heat of fusion. And latent heat of fusion of water at 0 degree is 334 joules which is equal to 79.7 calories per gram which means 1 gram of ice needs 79.7 calories of heat energy to convert into 1 gram of 0 degree water. You can imagine 1 gram of ice require 79.7 calorie of heat energy to get converted to 1 gram of 0 degree centigrade water. Now let him heat off vaporization. The amount of heat energy required to convert 1 kilogram of liquid into vapor at atmospheric pressure at its boiling point is known as latent heat of vaporization. 
and let an heat of vaporization at 100 degree centigrade is 2230 joules which is equal to 533 calories per gram which means 1 gram of water at 100 degree centigrade require 533 calorie to convert into 1 gram of vapor 100 degree centigrade.